hey guys welcome back so today's video will be a little different and i hope that you guys will enjoy it as you can see it is wednesday at 8 a.m and i am just admiring the beauty that is all around me i try to do this in the morning it just really sets the tone for me it really just it makes me feel very grateful to live in such a beautiful country and just a beautiful place And it's gonna sound really silly, but little things like just getting up and making my bed, I am just so grateful for. <laughs> like anybody that has been in a bad place knows that everything counts. Like everything counts. And even picking up after my husband, <laughs> I've grown to love and accept and just be grateful that I have a husband to pick up after if that makes sense it is crazy that it's still dark but it's eight o'clock in the morning and the house as you can see is still pretty dark but I like to start off by just cleaning up yesterday's evidence you know like keeping a clean house I find really really helps with my mental health so I'm always cleaning and always just making sure that the house is the way that I like it. And um, I have truly grown to love just being a stay at home mom and just like, oh, there's Zoe. I didn't even have to wake you up. I just put your eyes on. I was trying to read her instead. Yeah, I'm If you guys subscribe. Yeah. Getting to spend as much time with my children will forever and always be the greatest part of my life. Like, I definitely took for granted for a while just being able to be home with them and just watch them grow as closely as I have been blessed to do and now I'm able to really appreciate what this will mean for them and what it means to me and the impact it will have on them when they get older and I'm just so very grateful. This is Zoe's room and I wanted to show you guys this, but she ended up waking up. So I'm going out of my way because I think it looks so cool. And this is me again, taking a look outside because there are moments where I feel mind blown that I live in France. <laughs> so I'm constantly just like looking outside and looking around and being very grateful. And this is me taking care of the clothes. As you guys are gonna see throughout this video, I'm always <laughs> doing something with the clothes. Um, you guys see they have their matching, um, their matching pajamas on. We got them at Mommy and Poppy House. Mommy got them for us. Please 
don't pay any attention to LB's side of the quote unquote closet. This is literally me trying to prove a point to get him to allow me to pack his clothes whenever we go on vacation. I know it sounds ridiculous, but this is married life. And I really just wish that he would allow me to pack his clothes. Like, I don't understand. And I pack for everyone. <laughs> As I was mentioning earlier, I've just been very grateful and like just day to day tedious things I've learned to do them with joy and love and just be grateful that I have a family that I can take care of and just realizing that the role that I play in my family's life is such a huge role and I can't forget that and I have to honor that and honor myself and it's been a long journey to get to the place that I'm in today, but it truly feels good. And I'm in just a space that I never thought that I would get in. I thought that I would have to like, have a completely different life to feel like this. This is me, however, trying to be a magician and trying to try on these jeans after eating like a crazy person this holiday season and as you can see they're just not closing and I'm just feeling defeated at this point <laughs> and that's okay because I'll get back in them and that's all that matters is that I'll get back in them and I'll be comfortable in them so I am going to gracefully put them back without feeling any type of guilt, <laughs> without feeling bad about myself. They're going to go back in their spot and I'm going to bow out and put on some sweats and just go for the comfy look today. <laughs> I find that taking care of myself and catering to myself and showing up for myself makes me show up for my family and everyone around me so much better. So I'm constantly putting myself first and making sure that my plate is full and empty and whatever it needs to be so that I can be the best version of myself. And if that means waking up a little earlier so that I have that time to myself, then that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I have to make sure that this smile that I'm wearing right now remains there. <laughs> I'm constantly listing things that I'm grateful for. I have to write them out just to get it out of me and to see it on paper. I find that that just sets the tone for my day. Like I have to start off with gratitude and obviously my children, even Miss Mad Zoe right there, they're always at the top of that gratitude list. I am so fortunate. Like, I don't think I, in the past, have realized how fortunate I am to get to be with them, like, all the time. And I remember being so disconnected from my life like being here but physically being here but mentally being somewhere else and here again guys 
I'm doing clothes all day. Let me just let me just let you guys know that laundry is an all day thing. But I am just at a place now where I can see how fast they grow. And so that makes me appreciate being able to just interact with them and just see them and love on them and just have them in my presence all the time. It's just like, I'm truly, truly grateful to be a stay-at-home mom. Now this is the part of the video that is called, I'm late. <laughs> the kids have activities that start at the same time. So this is always a constant battle because, oh wait, let me say bye to my baby, give him some love and then rush back to the car because I have to try to get Zoe to ballet on time. And she was a little bit late, but the teacher didn't say anything because usually she say stuff, but she didn't say anything. So she wasn't that late. And this is me rushing back home because I forgot to take bags because I have to go grocery shopping once I pick up the kids and they don't give you bags in France. So I stopped by to see my man, which is one of the benefits of living so close to Barranco. And I'm going to give him some love. And then I end up running into my friend Rebecca with her two little dogs. I think I showed them before on another video. And so I got me some puppy love. Y'all know I love dogs. And um, it was good to see her. And then I had to go right back to get Zoe. And then right back to catch Killian practice a little bit because I want to be able to show up for both of them. I don't want anyone to feel neglected. And then little Miss Zoe had her own little photo shoot <laughs> requested by her, by the way, like this little girl's personality is just blooming and she is just changing before my eyes. And I am excited to see what she will do in this world because she's amazing and the kids are my little helpers like the way that they work together and help me is just like the best thing for a mom <laughs> um and again me being grateful that i can go and fill up my fridge and even something as horrific as putting up the groceries, I have come to appreciate. As much as I hate it, because I do hate it, I, again, am grateful that I have a home in a fridge and I can stock it up. And um, that's just how I've really been living my life is just finding the good in all things. I mentioned earlier laundry is a never ending chore <laughs> comment down below if this is your reality too so finally 
we get a little break. Well, I get a little break and I get to have a moment where I just relax, sit down with the kids. It's been a busy morning, as you guys saw. So much to do, so much on my plate. Albie's back at work, so everything falls on me. And I love to just have this moment with the kids and we just come together and talk and literally I get to listen to them share whatever's on their mind and it's always quite entertaining as you guys are about to see. have some errands to run and as I mentioned earlier I am constantly just in awe of how beautiful the city that we live in is and now it is Goutte and I think I've explained to you guys before that Goutte is like at 4 p.m and it's just time for a little snack and I decided to record because this was literally one of my favorite snacks as a kid growing up. So the fact that now I get to share this with my kids and we get to just have this sweet little moment together means so much to me. Doesn't help me fitting back into my pants, but that's <laughs> a whole nother story. One of the best parts of my day, it is sunset and I am a sunset lover. <laughs> and the kids never want to go with me. So it's sort of like me time. And I love the fact that we live so close to the water that I can literally pop out really quick while the kids are home. and go and just have this moment to reflect on my day and obviously look at this view. It's beautiful. It is drop dead gorgeous. the next morning and these kids are going to school they mad <laughs> but they are going to school and Thursdays are my favorite day y'all like because the kids don't have school on Wednesdays so Thursdays I'm sitting them off with love y'all already know sitting them off with love so much love but now mama is free. I am free to do whatever I want to do. 
And right now, I want to walk. I want to walk. I want to look at all of my surroundings, take it all in, breathe in this amazing ocean air. I want to look at all the beauty around me. Look at this. Look at this rainbow. Like, look at this. Like, I just want to take it all in. And living in Biarritz, it's literally unbelievable, the views. And it never gets old. Like, I can't tell you how many times I have walked this same path and this view never gets old. I always feel like the waves are taking me with them. Like, I don't know if it transcends through the screen, but when you are in person, these waves are literally taking you with them. And it's such an overcast, which some people don't like, but I love. And after my walk, I did the stairs to y'all. I am treating myself to a hot chocolate. It actually wasn't that good, but I felt like I deserved it. And that is the end of my day. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Okay, guys. So I want to know how you guys felt about this video. It's very different. Um, you guys see that I did like the voiceover and it was like really just showing you guys what I was seeing. And I want to know if you guys liked that style of video. I'm trying to do my makeup, y'all. I just did my hair. And I got this new product. So my hair may look a little different, like more tamed because what was going on was I would do it and then the next day when I would go out, it would be completely puffy. So I would waste two hours of my life for one day of nice hair. So I got this product and normally it should be able to withstand the humidity. But um, yeah, like I really, I watched this one girl on YouTube. I don't remember her name. She's an Asian girl and her style of video is kind of like what I try to reciprocate. And um, I thought I would put my little swing on it, my little thing, do my own little thing, try to change it up a little bit. So let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, more videos coming. I'll be, restaurant opens back, opens back up today. So he will be extremely busy. You probably won't see him. Maybe, I mean, that's not true because he does, since he works so close, we do get to see him more than it would be if he was working far away. So I'm sure you guys will still see Abby. But let me guys, let me know what you guys want to see. You know, I'm here for you guys. I obviously want to show you things that you want to see, so. Let me know. <laughs> yeah. Y'all already know. I'm about to turn into somebody that y'all don't like. You're going to be like, girl. I was talking to my dad, and he was like, that my uncle, one of my uncles was watching my video. And he was like, asking my dad, well, why she got to touch her hair so much? <laughs> and my daddy was like, I don't know. And he was like, is it real? And my daddy was like, yeah, that's my daughter, real hair. I don't know why, but my daddy is like, really. He really like always makes comments about my hair. He's like a hair guy. So he's always like, oh, your hair so long, it's so beautiful. So for somebody to ask him, is that my hair? My daddy was like, yes, my daughter him. And I was like, that's right, daddy, you let him know. Anybody out here wearing no fake hair? I'm just playing. To each his own, don't get mad at me. Whew. almost done. And that's all I'm gonna do. Y'all know I keep it light, tight, straight to the point. Just wanted to brighten my face up a little bit, even myself out, because y'all know um, your girl be having them dark circles. My oh, mama got them too. Um, eyebrows. Y'all, I'm going to the kids and I are going to Miami for the summer, and I am just like so 
excited the kids are so excited and i'm gonna be there for the fourth of july it has been years since i've been in miami for the fourth of july with my family and um put my clothes ready and i'm just so excited fourth of july is such a big holiday for me i don't know why but i love fourth of july um uh, yeah so that's it it's a really chill day as i told y'all in the vlog like thursdays are like my favorite day because monday and tuesday i have class as i probably explained already and then wednesday the kids don't have school and then thursday lb goes to work the kids go to school and i'm just by myself to do whatever i want to do and right now i want to do my hair and my makeup and talk to y'all <laughs> Pretty, I'm gonna do some lip, do something to my lips. I'm gonna get my nails done soon, don't worry. <laughs> some of y'all gonna be like, don't do that. Some of y'all don't like the nail. That's fine. Y'all gotta learn how to say to each his own, just let people know they like. That's it. Your girl is looking really pretty, if I do say so myself. And, um,. I'm thinking about cutting my hair. I'm thinking about cutting it, literally doing like a real blunt bob. Let me know how you guys think I would look, if you guys think that that would look good. And also, if you guys know anybody in Miami that does a good cut, let me know. You send me that information. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please wish I'll be a happy opening, reopening and um happy thursday and i'll probably see you guys again on sunday